How you doing guys? Uh, we're here on the Mac desktop and we have the Spider 5 colorometer attached to the monitor and plugged into a USB 2 port. We're going to go ahead and set up uh, Display Cal first. This takes into account that you've already set it up uh, to your liking, uh, your, your preferences for calibrating your monitor. With the exception of we're going to have to go to the Display and Instrument tab and change the display from uh, the default to resolve and uh, once we do that leave the uh, correction to auto or none it changes that and uh, we're going to go ahead and push the calibrate and profile now what it does is give you a port number uh, and I believe that's the uh, port that your colorometer uh, is attached to that we're going to import into uh, DaVinci Resolve so you might want to write this number down and then um, when you get into uh, DaVinci Resolve make sure you're on the color tab if you're not uh, here we're on the edit page you, when you go to monitor calibration your selection is grayed out so that won't work so you're gonna hop on to your color page then you're gonna go to workspaces in the menu selection monitor calibration and spectral cal and then you're going to input your same uh, port numbers into that and then we're going to uh, hit the connect button and as you can see here it is connected uh, your colorometer uh, I'm not sure if display uh, cal is also connected up to it as well I believe we're going to put that to the side um, so we're going to go back to uh, display cal and um, unfortunately with this um, I had to set it for the largest setting and you're going to see why in a minute because when I had it set to the default size it was way too small to even uh, cover the sensor because it kind of it seems to integrate it with the uh, DaVinci Resolve uh, graphic interface and you can see that in a minute and see they put the square right there we're going to go ahead and reposition the, the uh, colorometer over the uh, gray square in the display window before it was uh, way too small okay we're, we uh, already have that set and we're going to click OK and then we'll go ahead and, and go through all the calibration and then we're going to come back and uh, go through the rest of the steps Okay, uh, uh, display cal is finished with its calibration, and uh, we're going to go ahead and create the 3D LUT. Now, I believe this takes a little while to uh, process all the information. And, uh, oh. let me see. Uh, hopefully, I click it again, and it's going to ask me where to save it. Okay, we're going to choose where we're going to save this. And I do have a separate LUT folder just in case uh, to be sure it saves it in the right place. I think this is the one. Well, actually, we're going to save it right here. And uh, we're just going to save it as a. We'll just leave the naming as is. Okay, we're going to click save. Okay, that should be it. We're going to go ahead and close uh, display clack, uh, display cal. We're going to disconnect. Uh, it's going to take uh, okay, I think that worked. There we go. Now to Put that calibration LUT uh, to DaVinci Resolve every time it starts up. Um, we're going to go to the lower right hand, the gear icon right here. And uh, I got to move my Spider 5. I can't see this uh, display. I'm uh, going to go to Color Management and to Lookup Tables. We're going to go ahead and update lists since we put the new LUT in there. And hopefully, oh, there we go. 
It's processing. Okay, I think that did it. Um, so what you're gonna do, once you update the list, you're gonna go to uh, 3D monitor lookup table where we're gonna apply the uh, calibration LUT. And um, we put it in the LUTs table. Hopefully we, uh, this will be in alphabetical order because I got so many LUTs in here. Some of these I probably need to go through and fix. There we go. Um, we have the resolve uh, LUT right here. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and save. Um, so there we go. So each time you start up uh, DaVinci Resolve, you're gonna have the uh, calibration LUT uh, start up as well, and that'll take account in account of using um, your cal uh, some of your calibration. It'll take account for that before you do basic color correction and color grading, and your your colors will be far more accurate. So uh, thank you guys for watching, and see you guys later.